And welcome everybody to Strawberry Jam number 21. The theme for this jam is Harvest. I am TJ the Obscure here with you. The first map that we're going to be playing is my map. I swear this sign used to say something, but I guess not. The name of this map is Anatomical Adventure. Although I, it's been pointed out to me that the book says, yeah, welcome to Organ Harvester. A map made for the 21st, cent uh, tw 21st century CTM <laughs> 21st CTMC. Uh, yes, yes. Um, yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to read this thing right here. It basically just describes kind of, it gives a basic bit of lore to, I don't know, motivate the player. But um, yeah, this is my second map, and I actually did make it in roughly three days. I kind of cheated. I started on a Thursday, and then I worked a little bit on it Friday, and then a little bit Sunday, and then a little bit Tuesday as well. So I guess four, four days, but whatever. Um, and again, the theme was harvest. And whenever I heard that theme, I was kind of scared. I was like, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> like harvest really. Uh, I didn't want to do anything with farmland. I didn't think I would be able to put together any structures or anything in that time. Um, and so I decided to maybe take a somewhat unique path to it. You're supposed to be dead, guy. Why are you still here? I thought I killed you. I guess I guess you're dead now. But, uh, I, so I decided to go with, uh, like, harvesting organs, which um, is kind of dark, I guess. Although, and the original plan was to be like, you're like a serial killer out harvesting organs or something like that. But I decided to make it a little bit lighter. So the basic lore is that you're a secret agent and there's some kind of disease that is taking out people's organs. And every time they try to go in and collect samples the normal way, uh, the samples explode. And so we have to essentially shrink ourselves down and go into a body and retrieve samples of various organs. So that's uh, that's the story behind it. And that's, yeah, that's where we are right now. This is the machine that's going to shrink us down and transport us into the body. Um, this starting area was actually made very last minute because I kind of forgot that I needed to have a lobby of some kind. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not too displeased with the way that it turned out and we basically just step on the pressure plate that's going to change our difficulty to normal but we're going to go ahead and put it onto hard as we normally do and this is the this is the starting part oh gosh i need to close my blinds otherwise this is going to be extra extra difficult All right, that's uh, that's much better. So if you watch my channel a lot, you know that I hate the black cement. Um, it's just it's so so bad. You can hardly see anything. Uh, let's just only take half of that, I think. Let's take some backup picks. Let's definitely take lots and lots of redstone torches. And people have been putting it in their maps um, increasingly. Just, it's far more common and it's very frustrating and so my goal was to make an area with black cement to just mainly troll people and kind of just just to be mean basically um, there is a secret under here by the way we have a health potion uh, and so yeah that's this this entire starting area is almost entirely black cement there there are some brown blocks and if you haven't yet figured out which part of the body we're in i'll just kind of leave it up to your imagination i guess um, but this is us entering into the body i'm gonna go ahead and collect some blocks here just so we have something to work with and it's it's been a little while since i played this area i did update the map and you'll be able to find the map, the link to the map download in the description of the video. But um, it's been a while, little while, so I may die on this starting area because I kind of forgot how things are laid out and whatnot. Secret back here, we got ourselves a golden apple. Uh, you will hear creepers falling in the background. Most of those creepers are merely there to scare you and make you think that there's lots of creepers around when there really aren't. Uh, okay, we're going down, but there actually is... Gosh, okay, I can't see anything. 
Let's see, there actually is a chest over here. I think that the spawner is like right, right around these parts. Let's go ahead and take out Mr. Zombie. I think this sword may have no attack cooldown, which was not intentional. But yeah, there you go. There you go. We got some feather falling, some bread, and also some night vision. Um, which should prove handy, especially if we get into a difficult situation. Let's go ahead and head down. Gosh, those those creepers. Okay, I think we blocked that off. Kind of hard to tell. Uh, where do we want to place the block exactly? Let's go ahead and do something like that. And take out the zombies. Yeah, I don't think they can get to us, so I think we successfully blocked that off. Ooh, we got a potato. And you basically just want to follow the redstone torches and the brown blocks. Those will point you in the direction that you need to go. I think we have another hole here. But we have another chest as well. Some pantalones. Go ahead and grab those guys. And where are we going exactly? This is... It's probably going to be frustrating for you guys as well. Just me wandering around. Um, okay, chest. What do we got in the chest? Some wood and some bread. Let's go ahead and refresh our torches. The idea is to use the redstone torches like breadcrumbs so that if you do die, you can find your way back. Why can I not make it through right there? Gosh, there's a random hole. Um, yep, we're doing it, we're doing it, I think. Okay, now we want to go up. And I will say that this is where things start to get a bit challenging. Because uh, we got some skellies. And traveling vertically like this is not, not easy. Um, can we not go up right here? So, it's so hard to see. So very hard to see. Okay, there's our brown block. That's where we want to head. Um. Okay, maybe we can get them to fight. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me, give me up there. Give me up there. Uh, okay, more blocks, more blocks. Oh, gosh, I can't see. Where are you? Okay. Okay, there's a block above us. I don't know if there's ground below us or not. How can we still not get up right here? Man. Like, really? Why did I make this area, you guys? I have no idea. I have no idea. There we go. There we go. Okay, and the spawner is underneath the chest. I do believe... Please don't spawn, please don't spawn, please don't spawn. I probably should have taken my night vision there, to be honest. There's still too much food. Hey, we can actually kind of sort of see. Not really, but kind of. Uh, But yeah, and the loot was all very last minute. Um, so probably needs needs some more work, but whatever, I'm I'm done working on it. And honestly, considering that my first map took me like two and a half years or something like that, even though I really only worked on it for maybe like a month or two in total, I'm really proud that I was able to <coughs> to complete this one. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. Oh, there's, there's the creepers for us. Let's let them do their thing. This is maybe where things start to kind of pick up a little bit. Although, didn't I just say that? I think I just said that. Okay. Well, I'm not lying this time. Bye. You may have blown up the chest. Oh, please don't spawn, please don't spawn. Did blow up the chest, but it looks like our things are still okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, do we want to take that quite yet? Oh, let me up, let me up, let me up. Um, just keep going, just keep going. I don't know if you're a real creeper. 
We're just gonna keep running though. Oh, there's a chest. There's a chest. With more of that stuff and a better pick. Thank you very much. There's honestly not a lot of mobs in this area. Uh, there were originally, but I took a bunch of them out because it was just far too difficult. And so... Things aren't, things aren't too bad now. And it's zombies and creepers for the most part. And mainly just zombies with, I think, maybe one or two skelly spawners, one of which we already took out. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and take this, shall we? Oh, that makes things so much nicer. So very much nicer. Oh, really, guy? Come on. We got the leathers. You can go either direction here, but I do prefer to go to the right. Let's not forget to put our torches down so that if we die, we can make our way back. I'm not sure how I feel about these night vision potions. I put them in because Chip Chipmunk was having a lot of problems in this area. And, uh... Oh gosh. Okay, okay. Just keep running. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. I don't know if anybody can reach me up here. Let's hope not. Okay, some better food. And more leather. Yeah, I was maybe a little too generous with the uh, with the loot. But whatever. But because Chip was struggling, I decided to put these night vision potions in. But boy, do they make things significantly easier. Let's go ahead and take another one. I guess you have to find the potions to make good use of them. And I know where they are because I made the area. Oh, let me out. Let me out. We got golden apple and we also have this guy... Which uh, is not 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 too bad. All right, and we got ladders as well. I'm gonna try to do the parkour. I actually haven't tested this out. Gosh, when it gets dark like that, it's it's kind of scary. I will be totally honest with you. Okay, we want to get over there and shut down that creeper spawner. Sure, that works. That did not work that well. Let's just let's just do something like that. Okay. That should work out. We're gonna have more stuff spawning above us. Including more creepers. And there she is. Um, yeah. I hate how the potion mobs will spawn spawn in the walls. That that that's that's not gonna work. Not gonna work, I don't think. Unfortunately. Okay. I was also trying to make an easier map since my last one was pretty pretty challenging. And so I think I did I did manage to make an easier map this go around. So we're heading from this body part into the stomach. I guess is what this is, I suppose. <laughs> um although we also have we have the spinal monument. I'm not happy with that with that name, but I couldn't really think of anything else in the short time that I had. Uh we're gonna head to the spinal monument first. Um, let's see here. There is some TNT down here. I think. I'd be very, very careful though. Um. Hey, we got some TNT. Look at that. All right. Let's go ahead and grab the chest. I kind of forget what's in here. Coal, coal, coal. And chicken, yummy, yummy chicken. And some speed. We don't need the redstone potions anymore. Or the redstone torches, I mean. There's lots of goodies in here. Let's not put... Not put the wool up. That would be bad. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and head into the monument. The monument was also kind of last, last minute. Um... 
yeah, we'll go ahead and destroy you. And, well, there's kind of a funny story with, with this area. Basically what happened is, um, and this, these white pieces of glass are actually remnants of the mistake, is I, you know, I, I, I guess I liked the look of this ceiling here because originally a lot of the glass looked like that and it kind of looked like there was like slime like dripping down or bile or whatever the heck you want to call it, stomach acid, kind of dripping down. Especially like that right there is what I was going for. Since I've updated various things, the glass has turned into that, and so it hasn't really retained the same look. But anyways, um, at, like most of this area, I decided to turn it all into the glass panes. And whenever I did that, it was just lag central. Just, you know, my frame rate dropped down to like five. It was terrible, so I was like, okay, I'll just change all that glass back to green green cement, or whatever the heck this is, green terracotta. But the command wouldn't work, and so I had to figure out how to change all of that glass back into cement, and it took, uh, it took a long time. It ate up most of the time that I had spent working on the map, in fact. I spent more time trying to address that problem than I did actually building things. But for this, I was trying to go for kind of... You know, like, what would it be like if you're inside of a bone, basically? Kind of jagged looking and whatnot. This is supposed to be, like, spinal fluid, I guess. Mainly, I just wanted something that was not white to kind of contrast a little bit. <laughs> That's what I was what I was going for. Here's the monument up here. Again, nothing, nothing too spectacular. Um, we can go ahead and place the brown wool. One, two, three. No special command blocks or anything like that. There is a secret... Hidden behind the monument. I kind of forgot what it is. I think it's another special item. Wait, what? Okay, well, never mind. Never mind. There's nothing There's nothing hidden behind the monument. I, yeah, I made a special bone item, but I guess I, I don't know what happened to it. Uh, anyways, we have, we have a lot of little goodies hidden around the monument area. We have a place where we can set our spawn um, we'll go ahead and grab some more arrows and stick up a lot of junk let's go ahead and do something like that and something like I don't know that one might be a little bit better actually uh, let's go ahead and replace our shield as well we honestly don't need all this leather I don't think nor do we need any of that there's coal in there. Yeah, let's go ahead and take some of that coal and make ourselves lots of the torches. I don't think we need any more bread. There are some enchanted books and some additional health potions. I don't think we need the night vision. Uh, oh, that's, that's an... I don't even know where I got that potion from. But okay, sure, why not? Would I rather have that? Maybe. Perhaps. And then an ender chest, which honestly, you don't even need an ender chest, I don't think. What else is there? I probably won't make use of a lot of the things hidden around here. Um, oh, you know what? We actually want to go up here. Simply because... It would be a little unfair. Some of them make make things a, a little too easy, I think. And I would rather play this like somebody who is not aware of where all the hidden items are. They have a better axe over here. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. And I think we have a better pick as well, but there's iron blocks hidden around this area. There's one right there. Um, originally there wasn't any dirt or really any resources to gather because I was like, we're inside of a body, like, why are you going to be mining coal inside of a body? It just didn't make sense, but then I figured I need to give the players some stuff like that, so I just kind of stuck it in the corner back here. We have a better pick and also food in case you need food, although there's plenty, plenty of bread, I must say. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some more wood, actually, just so we have a decent supply. We are going to find a lot in this next area. But, uh... 
Yeah. And then there's some um, secrets, secrets, more secrets. Again, there's another iron block hidden over there. And I think there's one like hidden up there somewhere. I've kind of forgotten at this point. We have, the only reason that's in here is because uh, I saw it. I was like, oh, that's interesting. We have, oh gosh dang it, I updated the water. Um, we have turtle shells now. It has, you know, doesn't make sense at all on the map. Oh, we can't do that anymore, can we? Whoa, whoa, my, my air is doing weird things. Okay, whatever. But yeah, I was just very excited about the turtle shells, so that's why, that's why it's in there. We can actually take the little shortcut. Uh, this leads us down here, where there is yet one more secret. Um, and there's the sign with some void. There's also a creeper spawner back there. We're going to go ahead and block that off. And it just says I had to put some void in the map. The goal is to get the player to come down to read the sign and then get blown off the edge by the creeper. Yeah, I don't feel bad taking the chainmail. Actually, let's let's hold off on that. I will take the sword though. That's a decent sword. I didn't realize I put that down here. But yeah, sure, I'll take that. I think that's pretty much it for the monument area. I, I didn't really, I don't know, I didn't really like the mushroom block, but I didn't want everything to be quartz and glass. I wanted some kind of contrast here, and that was the best block that I could come up with. Um, what else? Now, if you go up farther up, it'll take you to the third and final area, but we need to actually head back into... I think it's intestinal infestation is the name of the area. And, uh, yeah, this is all very messy here because, again, I I was struggling to change all of this glass back. Also, all the sand that you see, or the, um, the green concrete dust or powder is not actually supposed to be on the ground, but it fell whenever I updated things, whenever I tried to switch out the glass. These guys are pretty ineffective. Um, yeah, I forgot that slime slows things down. I wish there was a way to counteract that. I'm sure there is a way to counteract that. But the main threat in this area is supposed to be the slimes. Uh, the slimes, and then there's also some pretty nasty creepers. Although the creepers aren't too deadly. Um... But there's the slimes and then these archers that are pretty, pretty nasty. So that's what we got to keep an eye out for. And you got to be careful breaking those because you can release release the lava. But here's the creepers. They're super speedy. They have lower blast power than normal creepers. Just slightly lower. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Where did you come from, guy? How did you do that? Okay, we're going to destroy you. I don't know how you did that. Okay, we got we got some chainmail booties, some more coal, and chicken. I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the chicken now. And wood and another potion. Let's go ahead and clear out our inventory. Uh something like that. Consolidate those guys. I'm gonna go ahead and stick you up for right now as well. I don't think we need two shields, but sure, why not? We are dealing with some pretty mean creepers. And over here we have the skellies that I was talking about. Punch two, I think they have slowness arrows as well. Or no, it's it's punch one with slowness arrows. Punch two would be a little a little mean, right? Um I also really I couldn't really decide on a on the block like endstone. I, th I think works well. I'm trying to think what else might work well here. I mean, what the heck does the inside of a stomach look like anyways? I have no idea. I have no knowledge of, of the 
uh, you know, aesthetics of internal organs. It's not my area of expertise. Okay, Mr. Creeper, are you going to come over here, guy? Ooh, you're so very fast. So very fast. And we have... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. They have spawned. They have spawned. The slimes do have... I think they have speed one. So they move a little faster than normal. But so far, nothing, nothing too crazy. Will you go away? I'm trying to kill my skelly buddy over here. I don't know if the one up top spawned or not. But I guess we'll find out. I think I think it has. All right, let's go ahead and destroy you. Ooh, there's slimes down there, isn't there? And you. But overall, I'm pretty happy with with the way that things turned out. Efficiency two pick. And some more goodies. I'm like, I, I hear things coming for me. And it's freaking me out. And the lava, my son actually gave me the idea for the lava. It's supposed to be like stomach acid. Oh gosh, okay. Let's move away. Move away. And there's a creeper coming for us. Run away. Run away. I don't know where he went. There he is. Launch him in the lava. Kill you. The slimes do have fire resist, so they'll survive in the lava. Uh, but that's only the big versions. Once you... Once you kill them, oh gosh, they're so hard to hit. Um, and jump, jump, and jump, jump, and jump. I heard a skeleton like fall. I don't know why there would be a skelly over there. Oh, maybe. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, that's a fantastic question. Okay. Anyways, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. And we'll uh, pick back up in the stomach next episode. That's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.